Trying to find the best defensive ammo for the little Taurus TCP 738. Trying to find really a, a round that will make that little mouse gun roar. Today's candidate, the Remington UMC. Uh, I don't know when I bought these if I actually even knew that these were hollow points because I'm used to buying this stuff in, uh, in the uh, ball ammo. But believe it or not, 380 automatic, 88 grain jacketed hollow point. So let's give it a try. Don't know exactly what to think about these going into it because uh, they are just kind of generic. And you know, in today's hyper marketing phase, you've got, you know, Hornady Critical Defense and you have, uh, you know, PDX-1 Defender and Remington Ultimate Home Defense. And these are just, you know, a white box, but they do have this comforting little banner here that says 100 round value pack because I know that's what I'm looking for when I'm looking for a product to really bet my life on is to make sure it's a good value but you know what I don't really care if it works if it performs solidly and costs less that's fine so let's give them a try and see how they do Examining the gel blocks for the Remington UMC 88 grain, you know we're already in trouble if I've got two blocks up. Uh, each and every shot passed entirely clean through the first block, wedged in the second, no expansion whatsoever. Classic case of bullet failure. Uh, there are some that argue that it's a good thing to have a bullet penetrate this much because most 380 hollow points don't penetrate enough. I'm not really sold on that because A, if I want a bullet that penetrated this much, I could just buy the cheapo full metal jackets. And B, when you penetrate this much, um, you know, your average bad guy is not gonna be anywhere near this thick. If you look at the center bullet here, it looks like it did some nice tumbling at the end and, and as a bullet tumbles, it'll create a bigger wound path. But that would have happened outside the bad guy. That wouldn't have done you any good. And you can see in this block, in here you can actually see there's some pretty substantial damage done by one of the rounds. Actually, one of the second rounds here did a little bit. That would have been nice had it taken place at the right depth. That's not too bad. That's about seven, eight inches. So one of these rounds might have been effective they're not the worst thing in the world because, hey, when you got a 380, penetration's the main problem. These definitely penetrate, but they don't expand. They're, it's not, they're probably suitable from a different type of pistol, but from the little short barrel TCP, they just didn't do the job they were designed to do. So I'm calling these not effective, at least as far as my ammo quest is concerned. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for more episodes of AmmoQuest and head over to shootingthebull.net for more equipment reviews and tests.